Let me see you wave your hand and you're gonna share with me, okay? Okay, Mr. Daddy Morgan, are you raising your hand? If you're raising your hand, let me see you raise it quick more, um, clearer, so that I will know to unmute you. Of course, all of you know here, if you're a rising star mentor here and I ask, how many of you learned something and you are not raising your hand, just know that I will unmute you. I will start with the rising star mentors. Oh, I can see here, Madam Julie Idowu Worola. Yeah, today is your first time, I guess. Yeah, today is your first time, I guess. But can you unmute yourself? Let me know what and what that you learned from the training. I learned so much. I learned so much. Madam Julie Idowu, can you kindly, is it Madam or Mr? It's Madam. Madam Julie, okay. So today is your first time being in Millionaire School. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, because I... I got to note that uh, you are meant to be inducted on Wednesday, but you weren't available, so your induction was moved to today. Yes, I went for a training. Yeah, I was told. I was told. Okay, your leaders are doing a good job to you know keep us updated. So I want to know what is it that you learned so and today that was so striking. What just one thing you learned this morning from this short training? I just <laughs> I connected not quite long. I connected while you were talking that you are going to about you. I don't. Okay, okay, all right. So I want to have someone else again. Okay, but Daddy Morgan, kindly unmute yourself, sir. Daddy Morgan, kindly unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, sir. sir. Yeah, what's your take home? Yeah, it's, I learned a lot today. Just one, Possib one, one that struck you most. My one. Possibility. My possibilities are unlimited. Your possibilities are unlimited. unlimited. I can do what I think I cannot do. I, I'm going to teach us. It. I'm going to teach us something very. Thank you so much, Daddy. I'm going to teach us something very, very, very powerful. I, I something happened this morning. I'm going to use myself as an example. Something happened this morning. I've been having some issues with some organizations, and then um, uh, see, as in it, 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 it has been very disturbing. For some time now, in uh, in so many states, I've been having serious challenges with an organization, and I've been thinking, what will I do if I don't deal with this? If I don't face this, this has the ability to cripple me. Actually, what I'm talking about affected almost thirty percent of my income this year. What I'm talking about affected, if not that, I'm someone that I don't back down out of challenges and problems. What am I talking about 30%? It affected almost 40% of my income. You know what that means? You are earning about 20 million and then you have about 8 million naira slashed. That's not a joke. That was not child's play. So I've been thinking and you know, uh, uh, on what to do, but I will not lie to Ross. I'm going to be very, very sincere with us. When the challenge is started, okay, and I played down with it. I joked with it, really. But it got to a point where it's now here on my neck. Just like most people will always wait until they have the heat before they start changing. Most people don't change when they see the light. They have to wait until the thing is now on them. Okay, we talked about that yesterday, so we're not getting into that today. We dealt with that already yesterday. Not changing when you see the light. Changing when you have the heat is very dangerous. Learn to change when you see the light. Don't wait until you have the heat. So I have to wait until I had the heat before I started thinking. <laughs> but I'm going to show us something very, very powerful. Today, um, while I was in the office and I was brainstorming on that challenge again, all of a sudden, an idea came. And I, and I said, wow, this is good. I had to scream that my colleague in the office she had to look out on the window to look for the person I screamed. How many of you have been in a place where you've been brainstorming on something and then all of a sudden the idea came and you couldn't just keep your cool that you just have to let your voice scream? How many of you have experienced that before? Let me see where your hand. Let me see where your hand. All right. I had to scream and I said, man, they can't hold me down. As in, she had to look out and then and look for the person that is screaming. I have to tell her I'm the one that scream. Listen, I've been teaching this for a long time. Energy grows in the direction of focus. Energy grows in the direction of focus. Life is about energy. Life is about energy. Some of you may think that what I'm saying is maybe spiritual. Or let me tell us, research has shown clearly that the mind is connected to matter. 
Yes. I, I know that, I know some of you here, you don't know anything about physics, but we all live by the laws of physics. Okay? We, okay, we say that matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. So matter is, for us, is anything that can be seen. But that is what we call the Newtonian law. Yes, that's what we call the Newtonian law. There are higher laws now that have proven clearly that matter, which is the physical appearances, the objects we have, is connected to the mind. I can prove it to you in a matter of seconds. Okay, but that's not what I'm here to do. Life on its own is about energy. I'm telling you, whatever you focus on starts responding. I can, let, me, let me just share some with you. Let me just share some experiment with you that will shock you. A research was done on a DNA. Okay, there were samples of a DNA, DNA particles or whatever, you know, being uh, uh, in a laboratory. And then a DNA, some certain persons were asked to hold a DNA, but while holding the DNA, they should hold a thought of altering the, the dynamics of that DNA. Why the other DNAs are just kept. Do you know that over, I think it should be over 70% of the DNA that were held by individuals that had the thoughts to alter the, the genome sequencing of the DNA, had the DNA genome sequencing changed? Matter, physical things that we see, even the Bible made it very clear that the things that are seen are made of the things that are not seen. Just by focusing on providing a solution to a problem, gets that problem half done, half solved. I will say it again. Just by focusing your energy, your attention, your focus, doing researches, gets the job half done. The problem is that anytime we have a challenge, anytime things are not working for us, we are too weak to jump to a conclusion that is not working. We are too weak. And anytime you say things, I cannot, I will not be able, this can't be, you shut down your mind. Your mind can't work again. Your mind is always your greatest resource. The possibilities of what you can accomplish and what you can do is unlimited, irrespective of where you are. Whether you are in a high state now, whether you're in a low state, the possibilities of what you can become is unlimited. The greatest trap in life is to think that what you are and what you have accomplished today and what you are right now is all there is to you. It's not all there is to you. There is still so much more you can accomplish. Say so much more you can accomplish. Each and every one of us here possess immeasurable amount of potential. And of course, you should know potential is not what you've done. Potential is what you can still do. So what is the benefit? Just like this man will always say, what is the benefit of holding yourself back? What is that fear that's keeping you back? What is that fear? Fear of what people will say? Fear of rejection? Fear of failure? Come on. Why are you holding yourself back? And then you've made up excuses. Excuses are just clean, well-structured, so to say, logical, logical explanations to why you can't get things done. All of us here have been, at every given point in time, I'm giving excuses. Trust me, excuses are well thought of. You already know. And they ask you the question, why didn't you hold the business meeting? Why didn't this one? Eh, I am because I traveled. Do you think majorly is because I traveled? The business meeting could have still been held even if I traveled. Maybe someone else would have held the meeting. Stop making your excuses as a final bus stop. Even when I find myself give an excuse, I don't make it a final bus stop. I still look at myself and tell myself, you know, you can do better than this. You know, this thing would have been done in a better way. Stop making your excuses the final bus stop. As if it's the voice of God. Some people, when they are giving excuses on why they can't get this done, they are saying it as if it was the final, as if it's the final voice or if it is what a word from God. It's not. It's yours, made up by you. We heard it from the training that all you can do is all you can do. And all you can do is enough. The point is this. We don't do all that we can do. We don't. All that we could do, 
We haven't touched it. We haven't scratched it. So what is it that is holding you back? Sit down today and write. What is it that is holding me back? Fear, laziness, procrastination, and decide to put an end to it today. Decide to put an end to you today. As we move into next year, 2022, 2022 should be the year that the most difficult task in your life should be attempted first. I'm giving you how I handled fear in my life. I found out that I live my life throughout the day handling small problems, small challenges. I'll be playing squirrel on the most difficult things. Meeting people one-on-one, -on -one, talking to them. I'm a very shy person. How many of us have done that in our business? We always want to really wish the most difficult things at the background to be their last. And before you know what's happening, you move it to the next day. You move it to the next day. How many of you have been trapped by that? I have been, and as I'm going to be before. And let me tell you how I broke away from all those things. The first task I face in the day is the most difficult task. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. Adeyemi, for your sincerity. Thank you. God bless you. The most difficult task is what I face the first time, the first hour, first three hours of my working time. No interruption. I don't even allow my staff and my colleagues in the office to interrupt. They are here. They can hear me. They know that. You don't interrupt me for the day. You don't. The most difficult task I must do it. Make that phone call. And I'm going to tell you one of the most difficult tasks facing people, facing reality. Pick that phone and make that phone call. That is difficult. Pick that phone and make that follow up. Pick that phone call and do that presentation. Pick that phone call and book that appointment for the day. Pick that phone and book that appointment. That's what will grow your business. We can sit down and do many other things, but when it comes to the things that we lead us to a place where someone can say yes or no, we tend to shy away from it. I'm going to share a story with you. Real life story, something that happened, I think should be, should be, I think it happened two weeks ago. A young man called me, and a young man, a mentor, and called me on phone, and it was like, he said, he called me within this week, but what happened, happened last two weeks. He said, no, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I said, what is it? Okay, he said, I don't want to do He's actually, he has a skill. And then um, in his business, he told me that he has been thinking on how to grow and expand the business. And I said, and I've been a, quite a source of encouragement to him. And he called me and he said, he doesn't want to do this anymore. I said, what happened? He said, he delivered a job to two clients. He delivered a job to two clients. And the, the level of dissatisfaction that those clients had on the job he delivered and the things they said, now that, listen to me, that's where I'm going. And the things they said has put him in a place where he doesn't feel like anymore continuing with that line of expertise and expanding and growing himself. He said, he, he just want to focus on other things. And I laughed and I knew that this is this young man's passion, real life story. And I asked the young man a simple question, two things. The first thing I, I told him is this, Ask me a question. I said, if, for example, now this is, first of all, this is a business that is paying you, at least in a motive, I'm not sure of. I know she, I, I, I know he delivers jobs to, uh, to over um, 10 to 15 clients. And I know in a month, roughly, he makes over, um, he makes over uh, 60, 70 thousand naira from it. The person I'm talking to you about has five kids. This young man has five kids. Very young guy, less than 40 years. And I asked him a question. I said, bros, if this was the only business we are doing, you, do, you don't have any other source of income. You just started this. Or the other source of income you have is very, very tiny. Yes, he just got a job with the Ministry of Lands. Okay, so he just, you know, some, someone that's upcoming. He just got a government job recently with the Ministry of Lands. And they, even though the salary is too small for him anyway, but he has many other businesses. I say, if this is the only thing you are doing and you don't have a wife that is working, both of you are supporting the family and that's the only option, will you be thinking of quitting? Ha, he said, no. He said, no. I said, the reason why, first of all, before we deal with the problem, the reason why the option of quitting came to your mind 
first was because you had an option. Now, does that relate to you? That the challenges you are facing, that the, that the thought of quitting, the reason why the thought of quitting is coming to your mind, the reason why the thought of slowing down is coming to your mind is because you have options. Option B, plan B, plan C, plan D. You have other businesses. That's the reason why you have that option coming to your mind. And I said, okay, let's deal with the root, with the foundation of this problem. And what I want to say right now is something that can help you, not just in our business, but in every area of your life. Humans by default, don't forget about the story. Humans by default has a way of living a problem whenever it has to do with interaction with other human beings. They have a problem and a challenge with living the problem and attacking people's personality. A lot of people do it. There was a time I was doing it, and I know many of you here do it directly, unknowingly. A lot of you do it here unknowingly, and that's very destructive. Let me give a perfect, perfect example. The young man delivered a job. There is something wrong with the job. There is, some, there is nothing wrong with the personality of the young man. There was only something wrong with the job. And the job can also be fixed. The problem and the challenges with the job deliver can be fixed. It's not that it can be fixed. In fact, he ended up fixing I told him, go back and fix it. Go back and finish up that job. He ended up finishing up the job. And guess what? The same people that spoke to him in such a manner that he regretted ever starting that line of business. They were like telling him, hey, hey now we now, now you're talking about no, 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 no. This is exactly what we expected from you now. Hey, hey, it's so beautiful now. It's nice. This is a good job. This is a good, the same set of persons that opened their mouth and talked to the young man in such a manner that he nearly, he nearly gave up his expertise. Listen to me carefully. When people reject you, when people attack your business, Listen, a lot of people will not leave the business. They will attack the personality. They are not attacking you. They are, there is nothing wrong with you. Many of us see rejections in our business as an attack on our personality. How many of you understand what I'm saying now? How many of you understand what I'm saying now? How many of you understand me? When someone say no to me on my business, when someone's supposed to attend my business meeting and doesn't attend, there is nothing wrong with me. I only need to get better with my inviting skills. Nothing wrong with me. Stop making people's rejections personal. Stop taking it personal. When people say no to you, even when people that you've given to, even when people that you've labored for, even when people you've worked with look you in the eye, and speed on you. In Igbo land, there's a language that says, Onya jorajo, ada The reason why a lot of people give up in life is because they give up on themselves. The worst thing that can happen to you is to give up on yourself. You will never have the energy to thrive again. Stop taking rejections personal. Stop taking refusals of people to attend the business meeting personal. So, no, no, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's what it is. They didn't attend the meeting. That's what it is. It doesn't mean you can't succeed in the business. That's what it is. Uh -uh. What kind of business is this one? Even you, even you. Even that attack, mere attack, if someone attacks your personality, if it is, let me tell you, if it is someone I can talk to, I will tell you, excuse me, so sorry. That shouldn't get to that point. I know you are not interested with all due respect. I know you are not interested. That's okay. But you know, there are some people that you can't say that to. They can be elderly. And they, they, it's not like you are in a conversation with them where they have to say for a long time. They just release some words. There are some words people release. It starts being about the business. It starts being, it starts, you start questioning your personality your ability to succeed. It's not just even about relating with people. It can be also your personal experiences. I've gotten to a point in my life, I got to a point in my life this year, about two or three times, I had to look myself in the mirror and ask myself, are you cut out for entrepreneurship? 
I have to start as in I, I was questioning myself. So even situations on its own can get you to a place where you start questioning your ability. Can you imagine? This is someone that from the right from the womb, I can give you testimonies and experiences that shows you clearly that there are some people that are born with a natural threat of, of an entrepreneur. I'm one of them. Studying about business is something I do for fun. I don't struggle to study. I love to know what happens behind the scene. I want to know what makes the conglomerates prosper. That, I don't study them just because I want to do business. That is my passion. That is what I love to do. But do you know that even the most passionate can get a point in his life because of experiences where he starts questioning himself? I said, did I really make a mistake on not taking a federal job? Did I really make a mistake or not? doing this or not doing that how many of you have been in that place where you start questioning your abilities your talents and then your giftings i want to let you know it is normal but you must learn to get out of there fast any attack on your personality any attack on your being is an attack to pull you down and to keep you down no one has the ability to keep you down except yourself once you get to that point that should be a signal once you get to that point where you start questioning yourself, run for your life. Start looking for people that will inspire you, people that will encourage you. I'm telling you the truth. Connect. There are people that you pick phones with them. You pick your phone with them and you call them and you can talk about business and about your plans, about your visions. Pick your phone with, even if it's been long, you call them. There are some people that if I pick my phone right now and call them and tell them, oh, immediately I open my mind and tell them, guy. Man, I got some great plans for next year. Look at this. That discussion alone will last for one hour. The way we will start talking, start dreaming, start painting pictures, you know, ideas will start flowing. Pick your phone. If you don't have such relationship, start building and cultivating some. I don't know what you've been doing. You must have relationship that inspires you, motivates you, and fires you up. Connect to them. Pick your phone and call them. Let me tell you, you think you can get out of that place fast. You will go down there. It, before you know what's happening, months and years has left you. I've been there years back. The first time I encountered my 1.3 million naira fraud, I was defrauded 1.3 million naira for almost eight months. I was down. I was as I was crippled. I was mourning. I was grumbling. I was complaining. I said 1.3 million naira is my life. Can you imagine? That was far back as 2007, end of 2007. I was grumbling. I was like, any little thing, I was defrauded. I will never forget the guy's name, Ayo, Tayo, from Obumosho. I've never heard of the name Obumosho those days. From Obumosho. Tayo, Tayo. All my problem was Tayo, 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 Tayo. I've seen people that they lost of one million naira, two million naira that happened ten years ago is still keeping them down to today. Can you imagine that? I said if they give you the ten million naira or the two million naira now, it will solve all your problems. Why are you still holding on to that past failure, that past challenge, that problem? Is because the human mind, the human body, humans as we are, we've been programmed in such a way to always hold on to something that we can use as an excuse and stay there. And that is just to, to how would I put it, to, 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 to qualify or to, you know, to gratify our emotional weaknesses. We always want to look for something. When you, if it's not your mother, when your mother dies, you will look for someone else you hold on to. It's my brother. It wasn't given to me. When your brother dies, you will look for something else like that. Never you live that kind of life. People are moving, holding experiences because someone rejected you, because you invited, because you have 50 people in your follow-up list and none of them is registering. That's the reason why you're now holding on to it. This place is not working. You know, it is difficult. It is not difficult. It only became difficult when you opened your mouth and declared it was difficult. Don't forget this. What you are right now is just a piece, just a glimpse, a piece of an iceberg. I always tell myself, I don't even have an idea of what I can become. You don't even have an idea of what you can become. So if you say, mm, I will never kill a human being, I will never kill a human being, you are joking. You don't even know what you can do. Let me see you. Let me see you have a pistol in your hands. And then they shot your first son, shot your second son, and you have a gun in your hands. Let me see whether you will not kill that day. <laughs> How many of you understand what I'm saying? Let me see with your hand if you understand what I'm saying. 
You don't even have an idea of what you can do until you try, until you push yourself. But look at life. It's either you apply, you allow the pressures of life to bring out something in you, or you push yourself with your goals, with your dreams, and with your aspirations. I choose to push myself with my goals, with my dreams, and my, my aspirations, so that whatever I encounter on the way, I was the one that made the first move, meaning that I called for it. So when I face those challenges, come on, I face them with joy because I called for it. I called for the pressure because I know this, that's the only time the best in me can come out. That's the only time when I tell myself I'm resilient, when I tell myself I'm focused, when I tell myself I am tough. How do you prove that you are tough? I study methodology in school, methodological and material engineering school. One of the things we love doing is to do what we call a, 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 a test of strength. You want to you say you are tough, you must be tested. Every metal, every alloy has to go under what we call what? Test. Toughness test. Tensile stress. A test. We test the ductility. How long can you last? Challenges is what gets you to test yourself. But you can decide to do what? To call for it by keep matching on your goals, matching towards your goals and your dreams and never allowing anything to pull you down. Or you can allow the experiences of life to challenge you. But many a times, when we allow the experiences of life to demand on the deposits on the inside, many a times, because we are not well prepared, we get defeated. But whenever you allow your goals and your dreams to bring those problems and the challenges, you are already mentally ready to face them. Never you forget that what you are right now is not all there is to you. The result you are having in our business today is not the best of the results. Some of you here, you have so many successes already. I was checking some of us, our accounts here, here and now, some of my leaders, I was really amazed. 500,000, 600,000, 900,000, 800,000. I was really amazed. 200,000, 300,000. I was, I was like, wow, this is good. I'm really, really happy. Listen to me. Whatever you've accomplished, you have accomplished. That is fact success. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal. If you don't have a higher goal, some of you, you've already hit your goal for 2021. If you, if you don't have a higher goal, you're no longer a success. You are going down because in life, there is nothing like stagnancy. It's either you are progressing or you are retrogressing. The choice is yours. Make up your mind today. Not to allow anything to keep you down. Situations, people, especially people. Never you allow what someone says. Never you allow someone's behavior and attitude or character towards you to change who you are. If you allow it to change you, trust me. All that you've got is you. And nobody can affect you more than you can affect yourself. Make up your mind today that whatever you are facing will never keep you down. That you're going to keep marching towards your goals. Take your eyes off the challenges. Set goals that are higher than those challenges and focus on the goals. That's what I do. You need 100,000. Set a goal to make 500,000 error. Create plans. Put strategies in place. Work towards making 500,000 naira. That's how to live a higher life. Stop living for your needs because needs will never get finished. Stop living for the mundane. All these you know, challenges are having. You no, know, no, no, no. Live for your goals and your dreams. God bless you really good for being here this morning. I know that this must have blessed you. I just put out my heart to Rob because, in fact, I'm not yet okay. Seriously, I'm still going to go drink, you know, drink of this training. It's a 15 minutes training. I'm going to send it to our WhatsApp group, the raw training. Um, alongside with this one, uh, the our millionaire school, I will send it to Ross. I want you to listen to it over and over again. Trainings like this are not good to be listening to us. Listen to it minimum 10 times today. Yes, I said so. Minimum 10 times. One hour and 50 minutes. What is that? Just about three hours. Keep listening to it until every fiber of your spirit and your being imbibes it. That's how to stay motivated all the time. God bless you really good. Let's move straight to our induction for the day. Where is Mama Julie Idowu? Mama Julie Idowu, kindly unmute yourself, please. Mama Julie Idowu, kindly unmute yourself for your induction, ma. Yes, Mama, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Who is your sponsor, ma'am? This is Oyeniron. Oh, Mommy Oyeniron, um, Keyinde. Um, right, am I correct? Yes. All right, so. I want to ask you a simple question this morning. What you've started with us, is it a business or an investment? 
Hello. Yes, I'm with you. Is it a business or an investment? Yes, ma'am. It's what? Hello, ma. Is what? I can't hear you. It's a business. It's I a said business. it's a business. I said it's a business. Okay, I want to ask you a question, ma. Sincerely tell me, sincerely tell me, how much success, how much do you see yourself making in this business in the next one year? What is the possibility? What possibility of any do you see yourself having in the next one year? I see myself earning roughly two to three million. Two to three million by in the end next, of next year. By the end of that's the next 12 months. Yes. How much sacrifice are you ready to make to make it happen? I was. <laughs> I will, uh, I will listen to my instructor, pass message, encourage, give, educate people on the importance, will not be discouraged even at their mode of approach of accepting or non-accepting acceptance of my proposal or my teachings. Let me ask you, ma'am. I will never relent. I will never relent my efforts. Okay. I want to ask you. I want to ask you a question. Okay. I want to ask you a question, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How would you feel still six months into this business you've not earned one naira? Go ahead and unmute yourself. Six months, you've not earned a dime. Will you still be doing this business? Hello, ma. I think, I think network doesn't allow you. Don't, we don't want you to um, answer. Okay, let me just... Just a minute, please. Should I use the Thank you. Okay. Now, I want to say this to you, Madam Ido. If you want to succeed in this business, the first instruction I'm giving you is this. Don't joke with the millionaire school. That's the first thing. Don't wait to be reminded of the millionaire school. The millionaire school system platform here is the place where you are mentored. That is where you receive your training. That is where we, we guide you and we make sure that you succeed in the business. Don't joke with it, man. If you are to excel in this business. Then secondly, which I believe is the is the is the chief cornerstone you must become a leader a leader is not someone that have people following them leaders are people that take responsibility to their for their own growth process take responsibility to develop yourself and to grow in this business whatever it takes go for it what does that mean don't just limit yourself to the trainings you're receiving here Expand, research, go on YouTube, buy books, read, study. Expand your world by expanding your mind when it comes to study. Take that responsibility to develop yourself. If you can do that with the trainings we are giving you in the millionaire school, you will succeed. You will succeed for sure. You will succeed. Now, please, ma'am, the millionaire school holds Monday to Friday. Any day it doesn't hold, you are told. You are reminded, and then you are told. Take note of that. Any day it doesn't hold, you are reminded, and then you are told. You are all well informed. Everybody is well informed. But our schedule time and days are Mondays to Fridays, 8 a.m. And then you are to attend the millionaire school with a thick cover notebook as this. Make sure you always do so. 
Attend the millionaire school with a thick cover notebook just as this one. Contact your leader, Mama, uh, uh, Mama Keyinde. She's going to tell you how to structure the millionaire school. But listen, the first 30 leaves of the millionaire school is where you write your contacts, 300 contacts. Now, once you've joined us in the business, you are expected not to talk to anyone at all. Please listen, do not talk to your friends yet. Do not talk to anyone about joining you in the business yet. You have to use our tools, use our messages, and use the appropriate channels to communicate with them. The first thing you have to do is to write. So between now Friday and Sunday, you have to write 300 contacts. Do not contact them yet. Names, phone number, location, and response. All right? By Monday, we are going to be teaching you what to say. We're going to be teaching you about the messages you have to send. So make sure on Monday morning at 8 a.m., I'm going to be demanding of you to show me your millionaire school note. That's Madam Julie Ido. You make sure you come with it. And I want to see all the things. Where would you get the contacts from? Every contact on your phone, on your email list. All right? On Facebook, every member of your church or your organization. Don't bother. Don't prejudge. Don't tell me. Um, I don't think this person can do the business, so don't worry. Let them decide through the messages and informations we we'll send to them. I hope that's clear, Madam Ido. I hope that's clear, right? I hope that is clear. Yes, sir. I'm clear. All right. Then also by Monday, I'll be giving you the book you are to read. There's a book you are to start reading. So I'm going to give you the book you have to start reading and ensure you finish it within two weeks, all right? And then there are going to be more trainings for you. God bless us real, real, real good, please. I'm traveling to Bauchi State this morning. By God's grace, uh, I will be in Bauchi, and on Sunday, I will be in Gombe. So on uh, Monday morning, I will be back to Joss. Then Tuesday, I will be moving down to the east for Christmas, for Christmas celebration with my family. But nothing ends. Any day we like next week, we know that um, is the Christmas week. We're going to have some days we may not be in the business meeting. Okay. Sorry, in our millionaire school is very, very vital. All right. So I'm going to give us the calendar, the timetable, because the days I'm going to be on road and things. And we're going to see how we can also give ourselves opportunities and times also for our loved ones. But don't think that our business is going to be suspended. Christmas is next week, Saturday. Next two weeks, Saturday, is New Year. The New Year you are talking about this year. Christmas is next week, Saturday. And next two, next three Saturdays, that's a week after Christmas, is New Year. We will be in 2022 already. So what do you think? You want us to slow down? No slowing down. We are ending this year stronger than we started. How many of you are happy that we are ending the year stronger than we started? Let me see where your hand. Let me see where your hand. Let me see where your hand. Congrats. I want us to send to each other here congratulations, okay, for staying strong till the end of the year. Send to each other here. Send, send to here on chat. Congratulations to us all. Yes, a lot of people that started with us dropped. Congratulations to you. You didn't drop. Today is 17th of December. In two weeks' time, we'll be in 2022. There is still going to be temptations for you to drop, but make sure you don't drop. So send a congratulation message now to everyone on the chat, okay? Send that message right now. So I want to see you sending congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to us all. Madam King Isuka, Madam Uchechi. Wow, it's good to have you in December. That's not easy at all. Many started with us, but they are nowhere to be found. Mr. Churchill, congratulations. Good to see you even in December. Daddy Morgan, even though he joined us quite a little bit late, good to see you. Uh, sir Adeyemi, good to see you, sir. Daddy Popola, good to see you. Uh, Mommy Murayo, good to see you. Congratulations to you all. Uh, Aminu Mausi, congratulations. Our Ebu National Secretary, <laughs> congratulations. In respect of everything, I know, I know that you are tougher than this. You've, been, you've developed yourself to be tougher than this. In respect of the challenges you faced this year, you are still here. Always consistent. Congratulations to you. Daddy Abiodun Alimi, congratulations to you. Uh, Mama Keyinde, Mama Agnes. Uh, Madam Chinere, congratulations to you all. Mama Scholar, congratulations to you. 
Mama Mesan Grace, congratulations to you. And then Mommy Babawale Funke, congratulations to you. Mommy Julie that just joined us recently, congratulations to you all. Let's stay strong and please, let's make sure that our partners, anywhere they are, let's connect to them. Let's connect to them. Share love. This is a season of sharing love. Share love, but do not waste. Share love, do not waste. Enjoy yourself. Have fun, but do not waste. God bless you real good. I'll be sending the recorded video right now and the Liz Brand training to us on our WhatsApp groups. Do have a lovely day. Love you all. Bye. Bye.